Hey, good morning. How are you today? It's another nice morning. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Hope you had a great day, a great night's sleep. So good morning and how are you doing today? It's, uh, you know, it's minus one. It's one, 32 degrees again. So it hasn't been really cold this winter, but we've been really enjoying ourselves. So here we are and enjoying the wonderful morning that we have. It is Wednesday, the middle of the week, the day that stands by itself, just like you, a unique day. It's not attached to anybody else. It's there and there's stuff on both sides of it. So Monday, Wednesdays are usually a, a special day for itself. Wednesday holds it up, they call it the hum day. I just call it the special day. So this is how it is today. And we have a wonderful day ahead of us, a day to try again, a day to feel great, a day to do something wonderful for oneself. And hi, Ezra, good morning. And another day, I need to get new glasses without glare, but everywhere is gone. I had a pair and it broke. So I'm one, when things get better and I can go get a proper one at a proper place that has new glare, a different shape, we'll see, I'll be doing this. So let's get the morning started. Good morning, and how are you doing on this beautiful morning? It's a new day. Energize yourself. I am here to pump you up, elevate you, bring you to the next level, let you reach, extend yourself, get where you want to go, and don't get tugged back. Look ahead. Look at your goal. Look at, enjoy the ride. Enjoy the process of the day. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Enjoy that wonderful process. Just push up, elevate, do better than you did yesterday. That's, that's what I'm here to let you, to remind you to do. Get yourself going. It's your choice. Your day. No one else is holding you up. My greeting to self today was, hello, beautiful. Be ready for success. Can, what can take this down? Be, hello, beautiful. Be ready for success. But it's true. At that time, I was not feeling beautiful. At that time, I had just woken up, walk into the bathroom, look at myself, hello, beautiful. But I know I would end up feeling it later. Two minutes later, I felt it. I did my workout. I got going, end up in the shower, did my meditation, got ready, had a coffee, had some water, and here I am, ready to pump you up, elevate you to the next level. Yes, you can. So greeting to self, I hope yours was as fabulous as mine. Your greeting in the morning, remember, is your insurance policy for success. Nobody can punch you. Nobody can take you down. Once you already have told yourself all the marvelous things you know for sure is working for you. So here you go. So today's mantra is quite a mantra. I take a lot of time to think of what the mantra should be. I actually sit silently for the mantra. And the mantra for today is everything ends up working out well for me. This is really a powerful mantra for the times we are living in. Everything ends up working right for you. Remember that everything ends up working right for you. Sometimes in the midst of the turmoil, look, we were told stay home from tomorrow. Okay. And that might, we cannot do anything about that. That's what it is. So you have to believe everything will turn up working out well for you. That is what you must remember. Everything will turn out looking, turn out working out well for you. And at the end of it, you're going to say, yes, they are. I know they are. Everything is going to work out well for me. And everything. And when you say that, then stop. Everything ends up working out for me. And you go, yes, they are. I know they are. I feel they are. And that's what your mantra is supposed to do for you. Your mantra is to make you believe, yes, you can. My morning blessing to you today is the power of forgiveness. Forgiveness is a very, very hard thing to do, especially when you've been hurt, especially when somebody has pushed you to the point where you, you know that it hurt you they, they, because of something or someone you lost your job because... Uh, they, they, they told you something, you know, they deflated you. I am pumping you up and they're putting a pin in your tire and pushing out your air 
there you are ready to go to the next level and they're telling you you're not good enough you're not and you, you're hurting or they do something to you a runaway lover a cheating lover or somebody that you trust and they didn't tr and they didn't hold your trust somebody you confide in that hurts you all those type of things sometimes it's really close to you sometimes the person who hurts you is really right next to you and hi yoko good morning happy wednesday to you my dear thanks for joining me i'm so grateful for you guys coming in here today so yes forgiveness is really hard because that hurt does not go away somebody asks you to you, some people will hear them say forgive and forget you cannot forget where it hurt you cannot forget when the hurt is in the heart but you can learn to let it go you can learn to let it go to forget you would have to have lost your mind you would have to be another person but to forgive is divine to forgive is to divine is for when you forgive somebody you are it's like having a load on your chest never mind your back forgive the the hurt is always in your chest you know i i used to hear people saying years ago i felt it in my i really felt it in my heart do you know that's true i have experienced hurt that i felt right deep down there and it does hurt and it can weaken your heart that is why they said people die of a broken heart they was hurting so much that they pine they, you know so you have to learn to let that go forgive others so that you can forgive yourself you can strengthen yourself forgiveness means giving up the suffering of the past and being willing to go ahead with the for the greater potential of inner peace hear that when you forgive somebody you're moving so you have no have inner peace you have taken that load away inner peace comes at the heart is at peace your heart is at rest you have said okay I am not going to carry you any further I'm going to leave you at the side of the river I'm crossing over to the better side I'm crossing that raging river of hurt and turmoil I'm leaving that I'm forgiving you and I'm resting it right there and you go us across to the other side of the river bank and you're free you're light besides the reward of letting go of painful past there are powerful health benefits that go hand in hand with practice of forgiveness you're going to be hurt several times we're all going to get this hurt we're going to be surprised where it comes from but we need to let it go and when we let we practice forgiveness and just go let it go you will notice that the stress of the memory leaves you literally and you feel lighter and much happier once you do that you will feel lighter and much happier you will not hurt so much and that is what it does when you forgive you know forgiveness transform anger and hurt into healing and peace when you forgive you you, you get peace you, you 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 the anger comes down and you just let it go i am not telling you the memory is going to dissipate but in time it almost does not feel the same there was somebody who hurt me a lot really bad and 23 years later they needed my help and i was able to go and help them i was able to find them they, they needed my help and the first thing they said to me when i walked into their presence was you will you're, you're you're mocking me now or you will mock me or something like that and i said no i can't to mock you i would have to be just like you and i and well you will have to forgive me i said oh no if i hadn't forgiven you i wouldn't be here so i had forgiven them to the point where i could assist them to give them a better life in the end of their life it lasted a year but i did it many people told me the hurt you received from that person you shouldn't have done that and i said no i have two choices i said my mother would say to forgive and follow the corporal works of mercy <laughs> and i laugh and i cannot repeat what my father would say so i chose my mother's and i did my corporal work of mercy and i did forgive that person i had forgiven them a long long time ago so when they needed the help i was able to stand up it was tough it took a lot of my time i spent the whole summer just trying to get them in order but they couldn't help themselves and at that time they turned back to the person they hurted they hurt then to come back to help them 
and I, I didn't turn them down. I walked in as bold as I could and I assisted them with poise because that's what I was trained to do. I did everything to the, until the death, but the hurt was insurmountable at the time. But I, I learned to let it go. I left it at the bank of the river and I crossed to the other side. I crossed to the other side of complete forgiveness. Listen, this is not easy to do. I had all the chatter, don't do it, don't do it. And somebody who said to me, when someone is being punished by God, you should leave them alone. I had no, no way of knowing it was God doing this. All I know is that Dorothy Mary Shillingford told me to my corporal works of mercy. If she was alive, she would have said to do it. So I did it. And that was my mother. And I followed it and I looked at it and I was light. I was so happy I was able to do this in the end. I didn't feel victory. I felt pity. And I felt sadness for them, but I did it. And I, and then they were surprised that I was able to forgive them. But sometimes you just have to let it go. So forgiveness can help you overcome feelings of depression, anxiety, rage, as well as personal and personal and relational conflicts. So if you have personal conflict, forgiving that person, it's not, hi Deborah, good morning, is not an easy thing to do. Everybody knows it is not an easy thing to do to forgive people that hurts you. It just isn't. But it, on the other hand, when you carry that load, it's like having a heavy sack on your back and walking on ro rocky roads with boulders and stones cutting at your feet and the weight on your shoulder. So I chose to leave it at the bank of the river and I crossed onto the other side of forgiveness. So if you have, it will hurt you. Because you can never move away from that, from that feeling of hurt. Hurt is hard. It is about making the conscious decision to let go of a grudge. Just let it go. Let time go and just decide, you know what? I'm not taking this with me. Forgiving the one who have hurt you is also freeing you to be the, in the present moment, to help you to be the person you want to be. When you forgive them, you make room for the true you to come through. When you forgive someone who has hurt you, you are lifting this heavy load from your shoulder. You're placing it down on the ground and you're crossing the river to the other side of the bank. When you get there, you will notice it's paved. The road is not as rocky as when you were carrying the sack. It's much better. It's much easier. You will skip, you will jump, you will feel excited. It is something that keeps you in the moment. And the moment, if you stay in the moment of that pain, you will stay there forever. That's why you have to let it go. It is not going to be a one minute process. You have to go into yourself. You have to go into stillness and silence, my two favorite places. And you have to let it go. You have to literally feel yourself releasing that hurt and that anger that you feel towards the pain they inflicted on you. Let it go. And don't be regretful. Just say, you know what? It's time that I take this load away from me. Release it. Let the universe claim it. Let God carry it for you. Because that is what you will promise. I will take away your pain. I came to pay the price for your freedom. So why are you paying it twice by carrying the hood? If you believe, you have to believe he paid the price. That's what we were taught. So if he paid the price for your freedom from pain and hurt and, and dissatisfaction and failure, why are you accepting it like yours? Let it go. It does not mean that you're going to forget the pain and the experience, but you will let it go. You let go of the weight of the hurt. So as I keep saying, you're not going to forget it. You're not going to forget the pain, the hurt, the experience, but you're letting it go. You're just letting it go. It's, it's like in Creole, when somebody's tugging at you, tugging, tugging at you, they say, Laji, kitemwe, let me go. And that's what they ask you to do. Forgiving someone is not allowing the person to hurt you again and again. That is giving that person the right to, that is giving them the right to your emotion. So when you forgive them, you don't go back for more. You don't allow them to, to hurt you again and again. Then you're becoming a, a doormat. Then you're not using your power. Then you're not loving you. When they hurt you, that is, you have to remember, going back for more, that is giving that person the right to your emotion to destroy you. That's giving the person the right to keep pushing you down. You need to know. 
and you need to let it go. But when you forgive somebody, you have to state who you are and, and fighting and quarreling with them. Like one, that person was still egging me on, telling me, I, I, you must be mocking me now. I just remember the exact words. I chose to say no. To mock you now would be just to be just like you. And I don't want to be just like how you were. And I left it like that. And there were times that they pushed and pushed for me to get angry just so they could feel better. And I said, no, I am not going down that path. I am here to see you have a good end of this life. If you continue to hold the pain of the hood and do not forgive that person, you're allowing them to, to have taken away your power. You're giving away your power. If you continue to hold the pain of the hood and do not forgive that person, you are allowing them to take away your power. They're taking away your power. You cannot give that. It is like giving a thief the key to your house. You know that person is going to hurt you. And if you don't forgive them, you're still giving them the key to hurt you again. You have to let them go. It's like giving a, a thief. You know they can steal. And you say, here's the key. Only know it's the key to your heart. The only person who should have the key to your heart is you. You are the only one that should have the key to your heart. So when somebody hurts you emotionally, or however they hurt you, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, whatever they hurt you, financial pain hurts too. Forgive them and let them go. But do not give them the key to your heart because you know they go, they did it already. So stay away. Enjoy the journey. You don't have to hate them. You don't have to not speak to them, but you have to learn how to function with them. You know, have to learn how to coexist. And that is, you do what you must do so that you have the peace. You feel lighter. You, you, you're not gloating. I never gloated when I helped that person. I just let it go. I figure I must do this because this will free me. And I did. Forgiving someone will help you feel better emotionally, physically, and mentally. It will contribute to better sleep, lower blood pressure, less headache, and your general well-being will improve. I promise you that. When you forgive someone, you will you'll feel better emotionally, mentally, physically. Your body will be better. You have let it go. It's almost like you're dancing a jig, you know, like they said, like King Solomon danced or how he was dancing. Dance and let it go. Forgiving someone who has hurt you is like taking a magical pill to lift you to a higher level of self-consciousness. When you forgive that person, it's like somebody say, here's that pill. It will make you feel lighter. You will float. You will elevate. You will, your feet will be above the ground. And that is literally how you feel. You have taken steps to shake what you no longer wish to carry and replace it with a spirit of peace, love, joy in your heart. Do you hear this? When you forgive somebody, that means you have taken steps to shake what you no longer want to carry and replace it with a spirit of peace, love, and joy in your heart. Sometimes when somebody hurts you, you're hurting so much that you do not want to talk to them. You need to give yourself time to chill. You need to walk away and live to fight another day. That is why I always talk of the movie, The Prisoner of Zander. He threw, he didn't have a sword, he couldn't fight. And he chose not to fight and push any further. I am living to fight another day. So when somebody hurts you, sometimes you have to walk away and leave it alone. Let it simmer down. And then if you choose to, you can pick up and say, hello, how are you? And you can chat there. But sometimes you have to just let it go and stay away until you know you have the strength, the dignity. Because to be forgiven, you must have some grace. You must forgive with grace. You must forgive with dignity. You must forgive with a silent compassion. I release it. You don't have to look at them in the face and say, I forgive you, and that raises anger. No. When you're going to forgive, be prepared. Prepare yourself to, if you have to talk to that person to forgive them. Did I take 129,000 deep breaths? Yes, I did. But I had to do that. All the way I prayed, all the way there I prayed, give me the strength, give me the serenity, serenity to accept what I cannot change. I couldn't change the hurt and I needed serenity to enter that room, to face that person and to say, I am here to help you. I am here to assist you. And what a journey it was. 
Say, learning to forgive someone is like giving yourself a gift from you to you. You end up being the one who has won. When you forgive somebody, you have been at this race for so long. You have been at this journey of tearing at your heart and tugging at your body, your mental, emotional, physical, you can't sleep, you're restless. But once you have forgiven them, once you have given them that release and you have left that bundle of pain and hurt at the side of the river bank and cross over to the other side, you will see you have given yourself a gift. So learning, it's not, as I said, learning. I did not say forgive like that. You cannot do it without learning how to do it. It will take a process. It will take some time. It will take sitting in silence and stillness. It will take looking at it. There is no way I could have find, found joy when that person wasn't able to help themselves. You know, I didn't find joy. I still don't understand what, what helped me to do this. What gave me the grace to do this every day for six months, I did something for them. Then I continued for another six months until they died. And this is something you have to do. It's a learning process. So forgive someone is like giving yourself a gift from you to you. You end up being the one who has won who has won the race. So sending you light and joy today on this wonderful Wednesday morning. I hope you enjoy this, this morning blessing on forgiveness. And it's not an easy journey, but it's a journey that can be conquered. So sending you light and joy. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I am going to be on at 1 p.m. with Susie from Austria. So if you have the time, could you check in? It would be fun. Um, we could learn a lot from her about what she, she teaches autistic children and she, she, she's a fabulous lady. So it would be fun to have a chat with her. So you guys, if you get a chance, drop in. It's 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please like and share Tessa Marie's Morning Blessing. And I have a YouTube channel, Tessa Marie Schillingford, and you can check it out and subscribe. And then you will see, I'm going to be doing the five pillars on there. So talk to you later, guys, and have a wonderful, absolutely wonderful morning. Love you. Thank you for dropping in. I'm so grateful for your visit today.